Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about Quick Roof. Now I know it's been several years since I've done an updated video on Quick Roof and I figured I'd uh, jump out here this morning and, uh, and talk to you about it. Um, I put out that video probably several years ago even before I had my shop here and I uh, was doing my work in my father's garage, the one car garage and putting sound deadening in and uh, I found this stuff on, uh, at Home Depot. And it's called Quick Roof. And um, after several years, that video on YouTube is probably one of my highest hit videos on my YouTube channel. So uh, I'm here to do like a recap, do an updated version of uh, what how Quick Roof has uh, been with us and how it's uh, how it's worked. So um, what you see behind me is a 65 Ruby Red Build a Bug project that we are working on for a client. So we are going to be applying this stuff very soon. One thing I wanted to uh, talk about in this video are some of the questions that I've gotten year after year about Quick Roof. And what's amazing is I get the same questions week after week, month after month, year after year. Chris, does the Quick Roof have an odor? And I've replied so many times in the post with this, but I have not experienced an odor. Never. Um, and I don't, I don't think, I don't think I ever will. Um, you know, I've, I've checked out the other competing uh, say so-called car insulation materials that are out there today that look very similar to quick roof and we've laid them out side to side by side and I got to tell you um, they look identical now number one number two uh, when you put your nose to both products they smell the same so <laughs> I really think uh, this quick roof stuff has been uh, passed down to other products with just another label on it so um, but one of the things that people ask me too is, you know, Chris, can I put the quick roof in my, in, uh, you know, my roof area, my cabin area before I put the headliner in? I don't recommend that. I definitely do believe just uh, keeping it right side up or worst case scenario, keeping it uh, vertical, like say in the door panel areas. Uh, that's the only areas um, I recommend you putting quick roof. People also ask me, Chris, can I put it in the engine compartment? No, don't put it in the engine compartment. Putting it behind... Uh, the back seat in the luggage compartment is fine. Uh, this, that's suffice. You know, you don't have to do it in the engine compartment. Engine compartment, just put the engine tar boards. Okay. Um, the other issue we've run into when it comes to quick roof is you can't get it at Home Depot anymore. It's, uh, 2015 we're living in right now, and I cannot get this at Home Depot. They have another product there called U Seal, um, and you can uh, you can check it out right here. And I bought that stuff before. It's very similar to this stuff, but that stuff I don't particularly like. It's very mushy, um, and I noticed in the heat, uh, the mushy, uh, the, the, the sticky stuff underneath just really started to get kind of real tacky and, and kind of messy. So I, I, I really didn't care for that material. But you can go to Lowe's now and uh, pick up Peel and Seal, and it's the same product, same company makes it. It's basically just a different label around it, and it's in a silver uh, packaging. Um, so you could definitely uh, go to Lowe's now. Uh, before Lowe's got it, I was getting it on uh, Amazon. Just do a Google search, and there's plenty of shops on there on, online where you could pick up uh, Quick Roof. Um, and some people ask me, you know, how many rolls do I usually need for a beetle? Ah, uh, I don't know. I'd say between three to five, depending on how crazy you want to get with this stuff and where you want to put it. Uh, you can get away with probably three to four rolls if you're just doing the back luggage area and the door panels. Uh, but some people want to use, do the floors and even the front firewall section, so you might need closer to five rolls for that. Um, so, uh, quick roof. I'm still using it today, guys. It's still a great product to use to sound dead in these beetles, and uh, I definitely recommend it. And no, there's no smell. I, I don't have a smell. So, You know, others have also asked me, you know, what else do you put down uh, in addition to quick roof? And, to be honest, you don't really need to put anything else down in the luggage area if you don't want to. I mean, uh, the quick roof in general will uh, stop the vibrations and really deaden the sound. And then when you put the carpet on top of that, um, you know, it's, that's, that's pretty good. But if you did want to go the extra mile and maybe even prevent a little bit of smell, which, again, I still haven't had, but if you think there might be a smell, maybe you live in a really hot climate area. Um, there's this carpet padding materials that uh, either Wolfsburg West or CIP1 sells. And it's a three-piece kit, and it goes in the luggage compartment area, and it kind of mimic what was uh, used by the factory in the 60s and the 70s. And it's kind of like a jute material. It's kind of, you know, felty. And uh, if you see here, it's got kind of two layers to it. Um, and he even splits apart, so you don't have to. It's supposed to be together, but I did notice, like, this is pretty thick stuff. If you see this, okay, 
it's probably like maybe half an inch in thickness. Um, I do kind of feel it's a little bit of an overkill and when it comes to the thickness so then when it comes time to glue the carpet down on top of this sometimes the carpet gets kind of wrinkly um, or it doesn't tuck in areas too well so uh, this stuff is not that expensive maybe it's about 30 40 bucks uh, but what i like to do is uh, actually split it and make two out of it um, and i could benefit from that because then i can use the other half for another car um, they do give you a center uh, section for the center part of the luggage compartment and what you could do is if you split that apart you could then use that for your roof um, the dead in the roof because they always put a jute material in the roof so that's uh, something that you can do um, the side pieces for the uh, the wheel hump areas I mean you might be able to cut them up and use them somewhere else but if you want to use the whole piece together I just you know keep in mind it's a little thick uh, to my taste but um, and that's 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 some good deadening right there too so I, I like to use that on top of the quick roof and that's pretty much all you need I mean you don't really need all that much it's just cutting down vibration and I've done that you know with uh, the earlier bugs even into the later bugs and it really quiets the ride uh, so uh, definitely want to maybe pick that stuff up too so okay so just to recap quick roof three to five rolls 16 bucks a roll only to do your whole beetle you want to do a couple strips two to three strips in each door Two to three strips in each quarter panel. You got strips under the back luggage compartment, over the wheel humps, and that's really all you need. You don't need much else than that. If you want to go further and put them on the floor pans and put them in the front firewall section, that's good. That's okay too. But uh, I want my doors to, to close and sound real nice, not have a tinny sound, and I want the dead in the motor sound. So that's all I really use it for. So I can get away with three to four rolls at that point. So. And it's still $16 a roll, you guys, you can't, you can't go wrong. As a, compared to the high-end products, which is going to cost you into the hundreds of dollars uh, to do your car. So uh, that's it, guys. Great product. I still use it. No smell. It's kick-ass. What else could I say? So, uh, And I don't get endorsed for this. I don't get any payment for this at all. So anyway, <laughs> Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com or visit my website, www.ClassicVWBugs.com. Peace.